Starting flaps, doors, windows, transponders on 1200, strobes. Both strobes on, just make yourselves a little more visible. Uh, time, wait, direction and velocity is 1706, so we'll have just a slight left crosswind. Awesome. Okay. Oh. I call up ground. Page Tower, Skyhawk 7669 or Golf, holding short of two zero right on Echo, ready for takeoff. Two feeling Golf to Page Tower, crossway to us from the departing Falcon, runway two zero right, turn right to the west, clear for takeoff. Turn to the right, westbound, clear to takeoff, two zero right, six nine or Golf. Okay, final's clear. Runway's clear. More than likely going to lift off before that Falcon, or they took off, so. Definitely. Their ground roll is just a little bit longer than ours. Yeah. These are right, is confirmed. Or editing indicator and compass are all coming in and we'll center it up. Heels of the floor. Pulling that power. Center line. Page towers. That's like six eight two three. Gauges yeah, are in the green. Right. Power set. Airspeed's coming six, alive. Six eight two three. Anchor to page tower. Make straight two zero right. The report a three mile final. Straight in two zero right. Report three mile final. Two three Yankee. Eight. And page towers. Series four two Delta Tango's ready for departure at uh, two zero right. Northwest departure. Sure, two to Tango, run two to right, turn right northwest, clear for takeoff. Three departures heading to the VOR, then northwest. Say again for 4 2 Delta Tango. Sis, uh, 2 Delta Tango, 4 2 Delta Tango, runway 2 to right, full length, clear for takeoff. Right turn northwest approved, the previous departure is also northwest bound. Air controls? I oh, control. watch for that traffic, clear for takeoff. 2 two zero right, 4 2 Delta Tango. Alright, 1200. Make that turn. Make sure to switch over to V-Lock, because we're going to be using the VOR. Yep. And then I would spin that one. And these are fogging up really bad. Oh, really? Yeah. You need to bring your mask lower to do what you need to do. Yeah, I can't see anything. Okay. Hold on. One mile. They're taking off. Departure to the kilo. Use cost for numerous departures headed uh, westbound. Keep it out for traffic. Seven to kilo. Page tower five six three echo echo hold short two zero right at golf. We're ready. Sirius uh, three echo echo correction. Phenom three echo echo runway two zero right at golf. Turn left heading one eight zero. Clear for takeoff. Left turn 180, clear for takeoff 20 right at Golf 63 Echo Echo. That's the 600 Golf traffic, uh, 1 o'clock and 2 miles off the direction of the uh, Archer, indicated out of the indicate 2200. Look at 600 Golf. Archer 2, uh, correct to 7 2 kilo traffic ahead and to your right. Our two aircraft, uh, one's westbound, one's northwestbound. One's out of 2,300, the other one's at 2,100. Traffic inside for 7 2 kilo. 7 2 kilo, Roger, runway 2 is right, clear land. Oh, I got two them right, in sight. Land, 7 2 kilo. Traffic in sight, 600 golf. Cirrus 2 kilo traffic, uh, heading to your left to Cirrus 2,100, just entering the pattern.
Genome 3, Echo Echo, contact Shadow Departure, good day. Good departure, good day, 3 Echo Echo. Two feet tower, uh, 537 Alpha. All right, so you know you're getting close, you're getting the cone of confusion, so don't over... What? Don't overdo don't it. Don't overblow it, we'll yeah. Uh, at this point, you're probably not following that. that. It's starting to budge, so start turning to 291. Or right. Downwind runway two is right. Uh, right, uh, downwind two zero right. Uh, Archer 537. All right, and then what altitude do you go at after the... 600. Is that what the departure procedure says? Yeah. Well, I mean, on the on that on that airway on that airway, it's twenty six hundred. On the departure procedure, then on depicted route, cross the DuPage VOR twenty five, then climb and maintain three thousand five hundred. Okay, we did we did twenty six hundred last time. We did, yeah. yeah. That's why I said that. So go up to three thousand five hundred. Yes, sir. So you need to get corrected onto this course. We know we're getting wind from the south, so you need to overcorrect to the left because you're very to the right right now. Yeah. And then if you ever want to see here, this is your ground track correcting for wind. So you right. may be heading this way, but the ground track has you heading that way. Right. Traffic 100 feet below, 12 o'clock. 2-3, two, three, two, runway 2 right, clear line. I got him in sight. Okay. Alright, so we it's not moving, so correct more to the left. Oh yeah, we need to sync this again. Heading indicator and compass. To level off, but keep that left correction. Archer 7, 2 kilo exit at Tango, contact ground point 8. Off at Tango, ground point 8, 2 kilo. Skyline 3, 1, Yankee Bravo to Page Tower, enter right base, runway 2, 0, right. Right base, 2, 0, right, 3, 1, Yankee Bravo. 1, 5 will work, if you can work it in. Roger, I got one Archer about 5 miles ahead of you. Uh, I'll let you know about 2, 3 miles out. Okay, thanks. 6, Archer 3, 7, change right base, right, now it's coming right. in. Clear, twin. Archer, show 6, 2, 86, good day. Oh, a little bit too much rudder. So keeping this heading is making it come in pretty slowly, so we're not going to turn in until it gets a little bit closer. Archer 3, Seven Alpha Wind one seven zero at five. Would you take runway one five? Uh, for now we can do that. Two three seven Alpha change to right base runway one five. Runway one five clear to land. Right base one five clear to land one five. That's it. Skyline one eight keep Bravo change straight on runway one five. Straight down one five. Thank you Bravo. Jet Joliet. Yep, because you've got Joliet and Nav 2. We got all three of our VORs tuned and ID'd. We're almost on the 291 radio for DuPage. What are we intersecting? 
Uh, we're intersecting the 080. Zero eight zero. Zero eight or five. Zero, zero 005, excuse me, zero 005. Alright, get yourself aware here, where are you? Alright, not gonna... Alright, good. So the biggest thing is getting established on this, because it makes it so much easier to know when you're intercepting this. Right. So you're probably going to have to keep a crab in, because we know we're getting... Push from the south. Push southeast. from the south, yeah. So remember that too for your holds. We're probably going to have to crab inward for our inbound and outward for our outbound. Right or inward for our outbound as well, so we don't get super pushed. All right, where am I at here? Okay. So I have the whole like a 28, I don't know, 285, 280. Yeah, 280. Okay. Like it's still moving to the right though, so we don't want to keep that yes, too much of a correction into the left. The bracket here. Got about four miles west. Going to be passing just west of the field at 1,700, going south to north. Campbell. Um, climb me up to 4,000, please. Four two uniform is oh like pretty much over Newell just maneuvering I think so. Okay. Four thousand. Detail traffic. This is Piper Warrior eight four two seven golf. We are taxiing from uh, Fly America ramp to runway two zero. Decal. Don't over correct too much to the right. Go get off again with the winds. Calp traffic, Skyhawk, 7669er Golf is four miles northeast of the field. We'll be maneuvering over Newell, get 4,000 feet. The Calp. Can Skyhawk 4402 Romeo turning left base for runway 20 to Alright, we're getting close. Yep, so keep that correction a little to the left to make sure that we're on the page. But yep, we are about to center up. Traffic, Skyhawk 4402 Romeo turning final for runway 20 to Calc. Yep, so we're a little to the right of our course, but we are centering up here. Yeah. To make a standard right, right turn. 085. Altitude. Add a little bit of power if you need it. All right, and at this point, I would probably switch to page over to um, Joliet. Joliet, one, one, one. Joliet is one, one, two point three. Ah, uh, shit. Um. Okay, just head out on zero eight five. One, 
2.3. Switch that over. We've already tuned and ID'd it from uh, NAV2. Now we've got Joliet on NAV1. Right. Yep, which we have on. I need to set a timer. Shoot. Um. Have that on 328, good. We'll assume that's about a minute. Make a right turn into 265. And I would flip this to 265 so you don't r reverse that. Let's go, four four zero two Romeo turn and left cross in button right two zero to guide. Good. Okay. We see it's coming in. We're still a little to the right of the course, which is okay. We're on the protected side. All right. When I roll wings level here, I'll make. I'll start the timer. Sounds good. And I'll make a call. And I'm your ATC, so just know. Okay. Remember, the winds are coming from the south, so maybe keep a crab for the outbound. In, inward. Lansing traffic, Skyhawk 6180, X-ray right, is four miles to the southwest. Inbound direct to the Chicago Heights VOR. We're going to be doing a practice VOR alpha approach. Lansing. Right. 600 Gulfs established. Skyhawk 6, uh, 7669 Gulfs established in the hold. Roger, 7669er Golf. Report one lap in the hold. Report one lap on the hold, 600 Golf. All right, so we see our ground track is 270 here. We're getting pushed on the inside. Yeah. We're a little bit here, so let's just crab a little bit more to the left. Your heading is like 260, but our ground track from the wind is pushing us that way. Uh, 42 seconds. This is looking centered. Once this centers, we'll make a standard rate right turn. All right, one minute. So I, was, I was on the protected side, but I was too far inside. Yep. So this time we're going to triple our outbound. So I want you to crab about 15 degrees into about seven zero zero seven zero. No, so it's zero eight zero. Or sorry, it's the other so, way. It'd yep. be one hundred one zero zero. Yep. I think that's a good plan. That turn coming. Turn coming. Going to one zero zero. Yep, more. Timer started. So hold this. Nine zero nine five. So, any help traffic? I'm reverse sensing down here, right? Yeah, take out from runway two zero to help. So I'm still left of it, or I'm still right of it. Yep. Forty four seconds.
And then for the inbound, I try and make try and hold like two six zero because that's about a third of your outbound. Okay. That should have you hold it a little bit better for wind. Right. On too much. I self work more than I need to here. Two six five. Probably want to hold like a two six zero. Two six zero, yes. Correct a little to the left here. Got a little late there. Timer. It's already so much better than last time. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting a lot of guidance. <laughs> you're getting guidance, sure, but your tracks are a lot better. I was guiding you a lot last time, too. But your tracks are better this time. You see how it's not like a perfect race yeah. course? It's going to be obscured like that. Like that bike chain. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly what Captain Joe teaches us. Keep it to the left. So we're at about 264 here. Yeah. This should center up at about a minute. And then don't turn until this centers up. I want to see how much our inbound leg yeah. is so we can correct for our outbound. Right. Because just because you're at a minute doesn't mean you turn. Right. Lansing traffic, Sky 6180 X-ray is seven miles to the southwest. We're doing a procedure turn on the practice BUR Alpha. We'll be doing a low approach only. Keeps like Lansing. going to the left. What are you doing? Okay. All right, centered up. In like 40 seconds. I think we also made our turn a lot sooner last time too. Yes. So we did. our minute was going to be. It's probably less than that. But now that this is a good and centered up one, once we go wings level, we'll time it a minute and see what we get there. That might be a little bit more accurate, right? Right. So what are we going to turn to here for wind correction? About uh, 100. Yes, sir. I like it. Do you like that voice crack, too? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good 15, 20 knots up here, so we're definitely correcting for wind today. Yeah. Last time we had a nice and easy breezy with calm winds. But when you have wind, I feel like you actually pay it more attention. The landings to your ground track. When it's calm, you're like, oh, it's fine. Right. Nice landings, nice everything. It's like, nope, those are my worst landings. Yeah, it's like the, the subtle five knot crosswind. It's right, so a roll out about five degrees sooner so we don't overblow it. Yeah. Good. Five. Uh, 6.80 X-ray, four and a half miles southwest on a practice VOR alpha. We go in low approach, then doing the published missed approach for 
set the oar off on landing. turn into uh, about two probably two uh, five zero uh, like two six zero we did about 15 degrees over for our outbounds so we'll do about five on our inbound a five that's right yep two six zero Traffic Skyhawk 4402 may turn left, please for runway 20 decals. Lansing traffic Skyhawk 6100 X-ray, one and a half miles to the southwest. On a practice view, our alpha will be a low approach over the mid over midfield, and then doing the published mid approach. Lansing. Awesome. We're pretty almost centered up here on our on our radio here. Time it. Just try and maintain that course, so if you have to correct a little bit more to the, to the left, correct a little bit more to the left. Okay, Lansing, Skyhawk 4402 to the south, 3,500, whenever you go. Lansing traffic, 6.80 x-ray, so coming over the field, low approach at 1,100. On the practice field, our alpha will be doing low approach only, then doing the published mist out to the southwest. Landing. 30 seconds. Andy Traver, go to 2, 8 hours, we're going to find the pattern to the east, climbing to 3,500 inches. Traffic, Skyhawk 620 X ray is executing the missed approach for the UAV. Right, there we go, centered 1500. up. Okay. They'll be doing a right About a minute. Turn, climbing yep. back over the field Standard to right the turn. southwest towards the Chicago right DOR turn. Atlantic. Awesome. So the wind correction really helped us out with the with the minute legs there. We call those DC You want to do another lap? Uh, yeah, let's just do one more. One more. All right. And then we're going to set up for a 5 DME arc off the 270 radio from. Page. And so Bob Alpha is on the R now, 2 0 out, should be about 10 miles out. Traffic stand up for 1 2 2 Bravo, 6 miles southeast. We'll see anything left now. Fixated. Uh, to the east, uh, landing runway uh, 8, left-hand traffic. 235, Victor Alpha. No, fixate. Ground traffic, so 8275, Alpha, uh, 6 miles to the About one zero zero there. Okay, this thing is processed again. Did you trim? Traffic Skyhawk 4402 Romeo, turning left down for runway 20 to 
Ground traffic, Cessna 827 Papa Alpha is currently four miles out of the straight end, runway 20, IFR, Lower 20 Park, seconds. Only. Lansing traffic, 6.80 X-ray over the south side of the field at 2,300. Direct to the Chicago Heights VOR, we'll be doing the published hold on the VOR Alpha about two and a half miles to the southwest of Lansing. Turn two six zero. They're really good. I don't know. I, mean, I, I feel like you need like. Usually the first lap is figuring out the winds and getting yourself set up, and then from there, it's just maintaining what's working. Right. Um, you've never gone on the unprotected side, so. I'd call that a win. <laughs> how much how much deflection are you allowed in a check ride before you blow it outside of this donut? I mean, I think everything is about three fourths deflection, you know. But essentially, for the face check, they're seeing if you're getting your VORs checked, you're doing the right radial setup in them, your timing. Um, you're, you're staying on the protected side. You're doing the procedures. Yeah, you're making the correct entries is like essentially what they're looking for. A little bit too much. Zero, this thing's fast. Don't forget the time. And time. What do you mean three quarters? Like three quarters full deflection? Uh, so three fourths deflection is to like the third dot. You know, so if you were super, super on the protected side, three quarters, that's still a deflection. You're not actually holding that radial. Yeah. Or, I mean, if you're on the unprotected side, pretty much any amount, I'd say that's not qualifying as understanding a hold, you know? Right. Essentially, we're teaching you how to do holds because they'll be in approaches and you'll need to know how to do those. Right. To the southwest of the airport, Lansing. Five seconds. a little, probably a Timed it a couple seconds late, so yeah. boom. Looks good, I like it. Okay. Do you want to do another hold or? I think that's good. Your last two tracks are pretty much on top of each other. So, uh, fly south. Okay. And we are going to set up for a five DME arc off of the deep page VOR. Okay. So we're already in V lock. Um, we're going to use the nearest page for this. So nearest, biggest knob to the right, little knob, nearest VOR. So two page VOR, we're off of the 113 bearing. We want to be on the 090 bearing, right? So as we get closer to the south, we'll turn in. We're 16 miles out though. So that means we're 16 miles out and we're north. So we're going to switch this over to DuPage, which you did. Put this on zero nine zero. Eight. Should have gone the other way. Okay. <laughs> DeKalb traffic, Skyhawk seven six six nine or Golf overflying the field at four thousand to the south. DeKalb. All right. So. Essentially, we're pretty far out. So if you want to crab a little bit, maybe like one five zero, just so we get closer. And then once we're at about 095, we'll start to lead that turn and try and maintain that course inbound. And once we're at about five and a half miles, we'll lead that left turn to 010 because that's about a 90 degree turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick up the weather for DuPage to see if it's different. Fire departures, contact ground control, fire for clearance. Via fire departures, advise ground control, direction of flight, or type of pattern work. Advise the manager, contact, GOVA key. Oh, and descend to 3000, please. 
Bridge Tower, information Yankee, 1452 Zulu, wind 180 at 7, weather's better than 5,005, temperature 8, 2.3, altimeter 3027. ILS approach, runway 10, circle, turn right, 20 right, then visual approach in use, landing and departing runways, 20 right, 20 left. IFR departures, contact ground control for IFR clearance. VFR departures, advise ground control, direction of flight, or type of pattern work. Advise an initial contact, you have Yankee. Page tower information Yankee one four. All right, we've got Yankee. Altimeter setting is three zero two seven. I think it's the same, right? Traffic one o'clock. Yeah, I'm looking for him. Okay. And that's gonna air traffic Skyhawk eight three two Mike Alpha ten to the south southwest inbound for landing zero eight Dodge County. I saw them. They're gone. All right. So we're looking for 095 and. Dodge County traffic, Spamina 122 Bravo, left base 8. We want 5 DME, so we're slowly coming in. Yeah, I can see it moving. Yep, so we can use this as an advisory, but we're trying to stay centered on this radial bearing. Um, Yeah, so we're starting to bring it in. We're not too far off now, so I would start leading that turn into zero nine zero. Dodge County traffic, Spamina one two two Bravo, running one mile final, runway eight, Dodge County. Because we don't have DME, so we have to use our GPS for this, so. Yeah. We'll make sure we're nice and centered up. And the VORs have errors, but, you know, we can use this to help you. What's this? Hazard alert? Uh, yeah, like terrain. Oh. If you're within a certain... Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to run into. There's absolutely nothing in front of us. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting closer. At about five and a half, we're going to make a left turn to zero one zero. And then we're going to twist this to one zero zero. We're going to maintain zero one zero to intercept this. And then as we're turning to zero two zero, we'll make this one one zero. If you're traffic seven seven Romeo departing, if, if your the, approach uh, says like your uh, your approach South procedure West. says it requires DME, does that mean actual DME or does, can you use the GPS as a supplement? You can use GPS. Okay. Yep. I've never used DME, so I know some of these South planes have them, but like I wouldn't even know how to use them. On a four mile final, planning zero eight South County. And I'll look at where we are in retrospect to DuPage. Victor, runway 208, cleared stopping. Clear stopping, runway 208, 907, out of Victor. November 827, pop out. The Bates Tower, circle north for right base, runway 208. And slow down to about 100 miles per hour. And get me down to 2,500. 
guys. I've been riding the tire the whole time here. Okay, we're trying to get closer, so. Page Tower, Skyhawk 7669 or Golf is 12 miles to the west. We're tracking inbound on the DuPage VOR and doing a northbound arc off the DuPage VOR with Yankee. We're coming in full stop. Remember 7669 or Golf, DuPage Tower, Roger. Proceed to the VOR and then report uh, your turn. Inbound to the VOR and we'll report our turn. 69 or Golf. All right, so we're about a mile and a half from our turn. We're a little to the left of the course. Six three five. So contact company. A little to the right. Thank you for your help. November seven, Papa Alpha. Are you going to circle for two zero right before you missed, or just do the miss off the ILS one zero? We can take the circle off the mist of the ILS, so we'd like to touch and go on two zero right, and we'll go south. Then we got traffic off our nine o'clock. Correct a little to the right because we're already probably at our other. Alpha Roger. Our next radio. Rats. So we'll start to lead that turn to the left. So one zero one zero and spin this to a one zero zero. So we don't screw up your flow for the missed approach on that to circle to two zero right. Negative, just a standard circle for the base two zero right will be perfect. Seven six six nine or golf is starting our turn for the arc at DuPage. Number six nine or golf, Roger traffic. Twelve o'clock and two miles is a Skyhawk on the Islas one zero three thousand. I have them in sight. Six nine or golf. Six nine or golf, Roger. You'll be following the traffic inbound. We'll follow them inbound. Six nine golf. All right, so we're a little in, so we'll just correct a little to the left. And lap. then we're going to spin this to another 10 degrees, so 110. Get that centered up. We want about a 020 heading. All right, so that's centered up. So we're going to keep that turn coming and turn this to 120. And we're keeping about five nautical miles from it, so it looks good. <laughs> so we'll maintain 020 as your heading until this centers up. Okay. Then we'll turn to 030 and turn this to 130. All right, it's getting... centered up, so turn to 030 and Number 130. Number Victor change to left traffic runway 20 left. Change to left traffic runway 20 left. Eight nine, seven, All right, nine, now we're going to maintain 030 until that centers up. Yeah, we're we're just... keeping five nautical miles. Looks good. Actually, a little ahead here. Okay. Yep, so really try and keep that 030. Our distance is looking good. We're centered up, so now we'll twist it to 140, and we'll turn to 040. All right, this thing's persistent. Yeah, we also have northern turning ears, though. Oh, uh, no, I've, I've got it stable, and I'm looking, and it's, it was off like 5 to 10. So crab a little inward, because we're getting a little far. So the wind is definitely going to be pushing us now. Yep. Centered up. 150. Turn to, like, 050. Five, November 7, Papa Alpha, runway 20 right to clear touch and go. Instructions on departure, turn right heading 220 to maintain 3000. All right, keep it coming to maybe 060 because we're gotten about half a mile out now. Because the wind is pushing us now, so crabbing a little inbound. All right, let's go to 070 to get us a little bit more inbound there. There we 
got I got a tenth of a mile back. Good. Start up. And you're allowed one mile each way, so this is okay, especially with the wind pushing us. Good, centered up on south, Energy and then... Alpha, 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 starting our circle for two zero right. Number seven, Papa Alpha, Roger. Traffic's turning base to final for the parallel runway. Watch for that traffic, seven, Papa Alpha. My learning point here is like, I gotta get this more in my scan. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I was Getting this in your scan early is good for approaches too. Yeah. Okay. 7669er Golf is breaking off from our arc. Would you like us to enter our right downwind for 20 right? 69er Golf on our right base runway 20 right. Right base for 20 right, 69er Golf. All right, and you can go visual. Wow, we lost our GPS navigation. Right as that ended, too. I was like, where did our VORs go? Awesome. I'm so glad we have things that work. Oh, there's the airport. Yep. So we're going to enter a right base. You can descend down to 1800. That wasn't too bad. We got pushed by the southerly winds with the holds and the DME arc today, but. November 79er Victor, exit head. Good Tango learning experience. Go. Yeah. Exit at Tango. What was our winds for landing? Did you catch that? Oh, it is. Um, 180 at 7, so still a little bit of a left cross one. Okay. All right, fuel selector, car P. Yeah. We got weather, altimeter set, heading indicator, and compass. Instruments, weather 180 at 7. Fuel selector both, mixture best power, power is set. Car P's on, landing light on, flaps is needed. Seatbelt shoulder yeah, harnesses are latched. Two uniform inbound from the northwest. Okay, everything looks good. Miles. Request a crew resource go. management, am I right? Yeah, good. <laughs> good. November 1214, in front of page show, and our right base, runway 20. 20 right, 1214, uniform. Altitude's coming down. Belts, okay, good. 20 right, right base. Number 600 Golf, runway 208, clear to land. 200 right, clear to land, 600 Golf. Okay, let us pull up and close ourselves down. Yeah, start getting our flaps in. Yep. That white arc. I think this was a good flight, you're getting it. It's it's One, it's starting to sync up. Two, three. Okay, right, balloon. Catch that. All right. November seven, Papa Elf. Context Chicago departure. Good luck. Thanks for helping us, Papa Elf. Finals clear. Speed and check there, guy. Rear, it reared up and let off some airspeed, so. Push. Power, get her glide slope back. One, no, not yet. There's one, one over three. There's 
to. Left crosswind, just around 70. Try to get it centered up. Fourteen uniform, we're gonna be two zero right, clear stop and go. Clear stop and go, two zero right for fourteen uniform. Tango ground, 600 golf. It's a good landing, just keep that crosswind correction through the landing, and then you needed a little bit more right rudder, rudder. With, after the landing, too. It was nice and smooth. I've never had one like that. That was <laughs> intense. Sorry. No, it's okay. It's honestly been happening to me a lot lately, so I've just, I'm like, crosswind. <laughs> well, I've like forgotten how to land, and it's kind of... That's what happens in instrument, and then if you're going to do commercial after this, then be ready for some really disappointing patterns after coming out of instrument. Really? Yeah. Landing after instrument is like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to fly a plane. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, ground? Stage ground, Skyhawk 7669 or Golf, clear of 20 right on Tango, Illinois Aviation. 7669 or Golf, stage ground, take the Whiskey Golf, Foxtrot, Echo, Cross Runway 10, Foxtrot. Whiskey Golf, Fox, Echo, Plus 10 on Fox, 6900 Golf. Alright, clear left, clear right. I, I feel like I'm in a fog on. on uh, on the last like five minutes of the flight. Yeah. Well, good thing we got a re nice recording here. You can no. review it later. Yeah. Look how crappy that was, and I I, di I didn't really like my approach either. I was too slow, too slow, having to milk it in. I mean, I was contemplating going around. I mean, I knew I had it. I didn't have to make turns. Uh, but that was could probably go around. I mean, if you ever feel like you need to go around, do it. I think you were stabilized enough at the end on 70 miles per hour and that you got a good landing in. Your landing was gorgeous. You just, it's the after landing of like keeping the crosswind in right. and the rudder controls in. Cause people think once you've landed, you're done. And it's yeah. like, nope. That's like the most crucial part is when you could get blown off the runway um, because you don't have the correct aileron correction in. Right. Good morning, uh, so you see ground. what I did? I just immediately uh, turned it left, and our wings were immediately level, and then it was fine. Right. You know, like that's all it was. Archer Niner five two Alpha to Page Ground Runway two zero left. Taxi via Alpha Charlie. But if you ever don't feel stabilized, Charlie, go around. I have no problem with that. Yeah, it happened with the second introduction of flap. I ballooned and it uh, bled off left, uh, about uh, 10, Charlie. 10 or 15 Cross more knots, one five maybe like 20 knots, zero, nine or miles per hour. Yeah, the thing is with your flare too, is like you come down and then you're level and then you just go maybe a little 
little too high. Yeah. To where you get this tiny balloon. It was less than last time. Um, but it. I saw it. Really look for your round out to really just have like this sight picture. That's essentially what you're looking for with just like a little bit higher off the ground. You just mm. want to be level. Um, and then once your airspeed bleeds off entirely, you're going to feel that sink. And then that's that tiny pullback pull yeah. there. So you're just a little early on that initial pull. Yeah. Or on that, um, the last flare. Yep. Page ground, this is Archer 537 Alpha with information Yankee at North Ramp. Look for pattern work with the options. Archer 537 Alpha to page ground, follow company Archer 52 Alpha. 